what's up, baby? It's 40 from Can't Stop Art. So finally we back. Let me scoot a bit forward, yo. We are making a video today. What is on the table here? Let me first grab this. Boom! So uh, for those of you who don't know, these are guindillas. Guindillas are like a, they're kind of like a banana pepper, huh? Here in Spain, they're, they're not that spicy. They taste great on pizza, sandwiches, uh, wraps, you name it. Anyways, I, I love these things. I always have in the house. Um, anyways, so what can we do with this, right? This is a glass jar and you know, you finish it, you throw it away and I go through at least one of these a week and I thought, how can we turn this into something? So that's what today's video is about, yo. You can see right here, this is <laughs> this without the top, yo. And so I don't know how well you can see, I have a cigar cutter right here on the side. I do like to have a cigar here and there. And inside I have a bunch of different things, right? So if I pull this out, now obviously you can use this for whatever you want, but my initial idea was to make a gift for a buddy of mine who I smoke cigars with. And uh, I didn't plan this perfect, huh? I don't know if you can see this like little hook I have right here. When you put this down, for example, let's put this right here. Well, where do we put it, right? <laughs> I know that this camera is only seen probably up to here, I think. Anyways, I can't see, but on the monitor, Anyway, so this kind of, it, 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 it's fine, but it's, it's, it could be a little bit higher, right? Anyways, this is the first time I did it and it, it looks cool, huh? These right here are some cigars. You could just pop in whichever direction you want. These are some matches. I've got rolling papers. So if you want to roll your own tobacco or joints, <laughs> I've got some more rolling papers, etc. And so anyways, I thought this would be a cool little storage container you have at your house, uh, on your desk somewhere, and then you can keep your stuff in a great place. Now I did something kind of cool here, right? Let me take this out. Inside, I don't know how well you can see, um, it's definitely clear. Let me hold it to this camera, right? I don't know, it's definitely, it's set to focus probably down here, so I don't know how well you can see. But on this side, right? On this side, I drilled into the glass, right? On this side, I just looped this over. What is this, right? This is a stuff called Subaru. Subaru is like a moldable glue. It's pretty cool. You can use it to fix cables. You can use it to fix all kinds of stuff, but you can also use it to make these little hooks, right? Now drilling into the side of the glass here, I'm sure made this one a bit more, and it's quite sturdy, huh? Now, if you hold this right here, uh, it has movement. I don't know how well you can see, it's got movement on it. Now this movement is not a lot, right? But it's a little bit. And I think that's by design, but this thing right here on the side of this side, this is being held it bonded to the glass without anything special. And it comes in this pack, you open it up, and there are approximately, I don't know, eight of these little packets. As soon as you open a packet, let me take one out, right? As soon as you open one of these packets, the, the, the time counts down, right? So we look right here, I have one, two, three, four, five. That means I use three. I think I use two, oops. I think I use two on this one, and then only one on this one. So uh, technically, we are going to remake this. Let me just explain a couple other things I did. I varnished the piece of glass with some acrylic varnish. Then I hit it with some white spray paint. After that, I'll dry it. Then I brought it inside. And I tried a couple different things. You'll see this right here is not actually, uh, we're not using, these are acid brushes, right? They're used for lots of different things, but actually it's brand new. What I did is I just put a piece of paper on it, taped it, and then <laughs> this is my holder, right, to paint it. And when I spray paint it, I wear a glove and I, and I have some gloves right here. And then I sprayed it and then I brought this inside to dry it just like this, right? So cool, you need something. It doesn't have to be a set of acid brushes. It could be whatever, something that you could lay this on. So when you paint it uh, in different ways, right? I did some paint drips on the side. You'll see that there's some light paint drips that look like little dots, for example. This was actually alcohol ink. I wasn't sure if it would adhere to the spray paint or it would leave proper drips. It did not. Uh, but it still looks actually kind of cool. And you'll see down here, all this is because I mopped it up with a paper towel or I, and it left little remnants, right? And those little colors I think are really dope. Now, this red and black uh, right here is just acrylic paint put inside of a squeegee bottle. And then this is the alcohol ink that I was talking about. Now the silver alcohol ink is a bit thicker. So you could see right here on this, right? This silver right here is from the alcohol ink, however, uh, it definitely worked better than all the other colors. I put like six, seven different colors. You'll see there's some remnants, but eh, it didn't work as planned. Next, I put some uh, some uh, adhesive size, and what I did with the adhesive size, just with a paintbrush, and just dabbed all over, not uh, thinking rhyme or reason. And then I took this silver flake, 
and I wiped it around, whatever, brushing off the excess. And then as you can see, these little, uh, little speckles of silver is from the, this with a little adhesive side. Then I took a little bit of black paint with a brush, pop, 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 added some uh, specks or whatever, just to finish it off, hit it with some varnish and it's done, you know? So before, <laughs> without further ado, right? You can uh, use different types of jars. I'm just showing you that this one is a pickle jar, right? So I had some pickles in the house. I uh, opened this up, obviously cleaned it, soaked water, whatever. And then the label, what I did is I took it off with some Goo Gone. I'll leave a link in the description if you're not sure what Goo Gone is, super awesome. You just use that sh sh scrub, whatever, a little bit of soap and water afterward. And then this is awesome. There's no sticky, tacky, anything. And so it's able to be painted, no problem. We're gonna use this, but I'm also gonna show you, I bought this from one of the local shops here. I paid one euro 50 cents. This is a bit bigger than this, but the idea is to recycle these. I mean, I use jars for all kinds of stuff, huh? But uh, the idea is to, how do we recycle some stuff instead of just tossing it out? Sure, you throw in the recycling bin and it can get recycled and reused, but you can reuse it yourself. And these are really cool gifts. Anyways, let's get started. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole in this and we're gonna add this Subaru to make a hook, right? Now, it doesn't have to be as high, right? Because on this, maybe something like that, so just a little hook that points upward. And I'm gonna draw a hole in this just to show you how you do, how I did it. Technically, I showed you here, you don't have to do that, right? You can use the screw off the corner, whatever, but I'd like just like a little part sticking up right here. That's the idea. You have to be real careful. And I'll put in the, the video some text, whatever, what you need to look out for, etc. Be careful when you are drilling glass, if you have a drill press, huh? But if you don't have a drill press, you could probably do it with a, a hand drill, but be super careful. You have to go super slow. You have to control the speed, the pressure, everything, and then put some water so it's not kicking up the glass particles, etc. Anyways, let's jump on over to the drill press. Let's drill a hole in this puppy and get going. <laughs> I need to be in the shop, but I'm filming this myself, so we've got it like this. Anyway, this is what we need, yo. We need the jar that we're going to drill, right? This is a bottle, bottle filled with water because I will spray water where I'm drilling, number one, to keep the bit a little cooler, but also to make sure that any of the glass that's kicked up gets attached uh, or gets sucked up by the water. Instead of wearing glasses, I'm using goggles. These were given to me by my friend who I made the, the, the jar for, huh? Anyways, I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna grab my gloves. Here's my press, right? And uh, yeah, we are going to slowly go ahead and drill this. The idea is to drill really slow and uh, don't put too much pressure. All right, so I don't know if you heard that, <laughs> because I'm probably fast forwarding the video, but it sounded like it cracked through, right? But I'm looking and it looks okay, huh? It doesn't look like there was a crack, so we're gonna keep going. But obviously, the most important thing is to not apply too much pressure and do this slowly. It's gonna take a bit, even though this is not very thick, it has to go slow. Plus, this is the bit I used for the last one. Maybe I should have switched, huh? quick I'm going to show you or try you can see we just made it through I'm going to spray a little more go all the way through we're looking good huh? So a couple of cool things here. Number one, uh, the drill press has an emergency stop. I can press that if uh, something happens, right? This thing explodes or whatever. The other thing is it has a uh, variable RPM. So you can switch the RPM. A hand drill, of course, it's based on your finger. You press too hard, it spins too fast. The glass will explode, huh? You still wanna use water. 
obviously I need to clean this up, but you wanna use water so that little pieces of glass get touched. Like, I don't know how well you can see this. Or maybe in the back you could see better, right? This slurry is basically the, the glass chips or the small little particles with the water. So I'm gonna clean this out. We'll be back for the next step, right? So we're back, just finished clean up at the other table and I've got my pickle jar here, right? As you can see, as I spin it around, the hole is clean, yo. No cracks in the glass, awesome. After cleanup, it's not even sharp, huh? You could technically sand this, but I'm not going to because I don't think it's sharp, number one. Number two, when I put this surgru, I'm gonna stick it through the hole, press it on the other side to give it a little bit more oomph, and it's going to cover the glass that was cut anyway. So I'm not worried about it. If uh, there's gonna be something exposed that you cut, you may wanna sand it just so you don't cut yourself, et cetera. That's up to you. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thing of acid brushes, take the top off, and I'm gonna put this like this, and I'm gonna take it outside. The reason I'm wearing the glove is because I'm gonna spray this with it in my hand. I'm not gonna set it down. It will be easier to spray in my hand, turn it pop, 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 and I'm gonna use this. This is Vallejo acrylic satin varnish. I've used this before on the glass and it works. Not all acrylic varnishes are going to work on glass, huh? So that it accepts paint, but this one does. So I'm going to use it, huh? So I'm gonna take it outside. I'm gonna spray it with the acrylic varnish. After I do that, I'm going to spray it with a colored paint. I'm not gonna show you this. I'm being lazy. I'm not taking the camera outside, but to spray this, you keep it maybe 20, 20 centimeters, eight inches away. And don't hold your button down, right? like that, right? You like the sound effects always included in the videos, baby. I haven't decided on the color yet, but I'm gonna uh, hit it with the varnish, then I'm gonna hit it with a color, and we'll be back for the next step on camera, baby.
we're back and we're finished with the project. You know, the, the, I think this is the last time I do like four or five videos at once. I have been scatterbrained and everything took longer than it should have, but the video's done, right? So what, what did we do in this video, right? We started with a jar of chilies. Well, I did before I did this video and I created this cool little uh, holder for different types of cigar items, right? Like we've got a cigar cutter right here. We've got rolling papers. We've got cigars. We've got matches. Mind you, these are smaller versions of cigars. And when I put this down on the table, this is a bit longer than it should have. So maybe I should have angled this up higher. And again, I made this with this uh, Suguru, right? This is basically a moldable or foldable plastic and you have 30 minutes to mold it. After that, it starts to harden and then it has 24 hours to cure into like this uh, hardened plastic or silicone plastic, right? So we made this, yo, boom, right? Oh, this thing is sexy. And obviously this is quite a bit taller, which will lend us the ability to put in regular size cigars. Or wait, you could use this for anything. You don't have to use this as a cigar holder. You can use it for whatever you may like. I definitely really like this one. I'm gonna keep this one. <laughs> I give the other one to my buddy. Now, of course, I made a little holder right here as well. And boom, that's perfect, right? And you could put in full size cigars in here, or you could, you could totally leave this out and just put flowers in here or put uh, uh, brushes, right? So I had this thing and this is, these are the acid brushes that came in this case, we could just use this as a brush holder, right? So this thing came out awesome in my opinion. I hope you guys like it. If you did, please like, share the video with your friends, subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. Guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Until next time, I'm out.